Shut up, I forget Jeff Norris's name like I always do. I forget everyone's name unless I write it down. It doesn't matter. I forgot my ex's name. <laughs> oh, welcome to Chick Chat Comedy Podcast. I am here, uh, Patty Rossboro, and I am here with the lovely Carrie Caravis. Hello, Patty. How are you? Hello, darling. How are you? Good, honey. You didn't mention that my hair is now in new It does color. look beautiful. Does it look uh, alright? You know, color? it's a little darker than I thought you were going to. You want it to be a blonde, and now you're brunette still. Well, that this is not as light as I wanted it. Right. I wanted it that. What did that cost you? Three hundred. I could. You're an Holy asshole. Shit. Now you're an asshole. Now, wow. what was that movie the way he goes? Now you're a cunt. That what was the in, hell movie is that? After she banged all his friends in Santa Fever. Oh, uh, Santa Fever. Yeah. So I could have done that for you. And you wouldn't have paid. You do highlights, though. You said you just do. Roots. I do everything. You I do, do highlights. Yeah, I do everything. But Eleni wouldn't have charged you the third of that. Uh, she's an hour and a half away, two hours to get home on a Worth Sunday. Worth it. Two hours. Three I'm hours. The, I'm on. Three hundred. Eight <laughs> hours. Okay, we do have uh, a guest. Uh, here's what I want to say. You have. Not even shoulder length hand. He had the balls to charge you 300 bucks. These guys are crazy. You people are n dumb. If you're paying $300 to get two pubic hairs done and, and you charge, <laughs> charge you $300. What does pubic hair have to I'm do with it? I'm just saying because it? it's short. Oh, like if they she dyed my pubic hair? I'm just saying because it's short hair. You got short hairs down there. <laughs> are you trying to say my hair looks like pubic hair? Well, what are you hair trying looks to say? really good today, but I'm still just saying that was a lot of money he charged. All right. Me. It is darker than I wanted, of course. And we did have a big fight, too, he and I. And Can as a matter of fact, I said to him, it, you need to rinse this out, and I'm leaving. That's how big a fight he and I had. But anyway, should we keep talking about that? Or should I introduce Let's our guest? Let's introduce our guest. Jeff he... Norris is on the show today. What an education. Jeff Norris, who I've known for how many years? 20 years. To, um, yeah, at least. Yeah. How long have you been in comedy? 22. Okay, so maybe I've known you 22 years. So now let me ask you, Jeff. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. You, were you a cop uh, before this? No. I was never a cop. You what? seem Doesn't like a cop. Doesn't he seem like he was a cop? Yeah, there's something cop-ish. Some prickish about, about him. No! <laughs> prickish. <laughs> like, but let me get your life in the red and red. Didn't you say you blew a cop? I Just did. be fair. Well, no. there you go. Actually, one time, uh, I, I did. <laughs> <laughs> he could have been a cop. If you want me did to be you? a cop. You <laughs> did you blow a cop, though, Karen? I don't remember. I might yeah. have. Oh, you don't remember? Yeah, That's a yes. Now she don't. Hold That's on. a hard now, yes. Here's the thing. One time I get pulled over for pull. Whatever, get blown What'd you a do? stop sign. Drunk and whatever. I went through a stop sign. So he goes over. Drunk. He goes, uh, you know why? I go, why'd you pull me over? And he goes, you know why I pulled you over? And I go, why? He goes, you blew the stop sign. I go, no, I didn't. He goes, yeah, you blew the stop sign. And I go, I couldn't have blown the stop sign. It wouldn't fit in my mouth. <laughs> and he starts. La he just like I was like 25 years old. He that starts is such a ballsy laughing, thing and he goes, right, go. I swear really? to God, like a month later, I blow another stop sign, and of course he pulls me over again. <laughs> he goes, you again. I go, again. I'm going to tell you the same story. He goes, if I catch you one more time going through a stop sign, he goes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to you know, arrest you, whatever he said. And he let me go again. I never got tickets when I was a kid. Well, you're so cute. I mean, I used to, even I would get out of tickets up until I turned uh, 40. You're still blowing <laughs> stop signs? No. No. But, but you know what? I used to, when a cop would pull me over, I'd be like, oh, my God, officer, you are gorgeous. You are so uh, That is so I would obvious. always yeah. say it. I would always say it, right? One cop was so drop-dead gorgeous, I go to him, listen, don't even bother. Just arrest me. <laughs> and he starts laughing. I go, seriously, you're, 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 you're so gorgeous. Just arrest me. And he was laughing, and he gave me his number, but I never called him, but... He gave you his number, like, to call him at, like, for a yeah, date? he let me off the hook. Gee, and how old were you? I was, like, 25. So I never called him because I was dating somebody. But uh, he was so gorgeous. And I got away with the ticket. But one time a cop pulls me off in New Jersey. He comes up with his might know him. open <laughs> yeah, that's right. pus pimple sore. And I just looked at my friend and I go, I'm getting a ticket. Because <laughs> I couldn't even you lie. You couldn't say it. No. You couldn't say But now your dad's a cop or he was a cop? My dad was a cop briefly when I was like. What really, do you mean briefly? For, for briefly. like two, three years. That's he, it? That's not really a cop. Anymore. He didn't like it. He didn't like it. He didn't like it. Any crazy stories when he was a cop? He had a uh, domestic disturbance thing that kind of freaked him out. That he had to go in? Yeah, he had to go in and he seen some things he didn't like. and. Oh, my God. He Left the force. Well, with the, the the person was the person shooting somebody, or they're just beating them up. There was like blood and dead people. Uh, and... Oh, you 
have to be able to handle that. You know what? I when I watch those cop shows and I see what they have to do, I think I could never because you got to come onto the scene of a crime and people are dead and there's blood and there's everything. And I, first of all, how do you get that out of your head once you see it, right? I, I love cops. Cops, veterans, I do. I just, it's a special breed of person to, to be a cop. Yeah, like yeah, a yeah. doctor. I mean, I can't imagine, especially today. It's just like, you know. I could, first of all, when I watch movies that are suspenseful, I have an anxiety attack. I'm like, all of a sudden I can't breathe. Like, <laughs> she goes out, <laughs> starts throwing stop so signs. I involved in the fucking movie that I'm like, oh. I'm yeah, yeah. paper bag. I got home. <laughs> I always think that because I watch the killer shows. I love the killer shows, the snap, cold case files. But I only like them because I want to find out who did it. I don't like them when they show the the, the blood. The, like you'll be watching it, watching everything's normal, and then the husband's in there, and then they go and the picture's up with the head <laughs> off the neck and the blood splatter all. Up. I'm like, why the fuck do they add <laughs> that to it? Because that is hard for me to get out. But yet I'm addicted to those shows. I can't stop watching. I used those. to do makeup, and I used to do that. What do you mean you used to do makeup? I, the... I went to school for horror makeup and bl- bloody gory crap like that. But who you did it for cold case files? No, I did it for like I did movies. I did the Howling Part Five. Get the fuck out! Part Five. I don't think anybody even. I didn't even know there was four parts, but (laughs) but uh, I didn't. I don't think anybody even saw that. But yeah, they they took the whole. Let her let her do your hair then. If she could do horror makeup. (laughs) She Wait, can fucking what are you your... trying to say? I'm just saying. Did I look like a horror no. show? Oh, my God. All right, <laughs> you, maybe I should howling. let you do my highlights. But yeah. can you do highlights without burning my hair out? I have the Olaplex. All right. I don't know. What um, I want to talk about... Can you validate my parking for this shit? <laughs> <laughs> Come I, on in. We'll I... talk. You get here at 20 to fucking 8. <laughs> First of all, it's nice when the guest yeah, arrives like, before the fucking He's like host. an hour before us, but you know why? You know, want to know why? Uh, can I just tell you something that happened to me, and, and then we will talk to you. Okay, Carrie and I have too much to say to answer it. And then I have something to say Don't to Adam. do you guys talk to each other daily? No, we Adam, just see here once a week. Eat. Yeah, wait, wait, then I'm going to ask you about but We're uh, going to go get our roots touched I'm, up, I'm, I'm trying Jeff to get, and I. I'm trying to get fucking parking and I, I didn't get the parking in the place where we were supposed to get the parking then I go to my other place where I always get my parking and this fucking girl comes out of the parking lot and she and I there's two inches between me and the car in front of her and she just like slams over in front of me like she's gonna pull in and I look at her and I go like I give her the the well, that would no, scare me no you're not going in because I got some place to go I'm not letting you in I let this the, means don't get like get the fuck off so she starts shoving her car like up one inch against my car. And I'm like, now bitch, I'm never letting you in. And I go up an inch and then she goes forward and she thinks I'm gonna back down. But my car is a piece of shit with scratches on it. I don't care. So I pushed forward real fast and she got scared and she moved back. So she slams on her horn. She was trying to steal your spot? She, no, she was trying to get it out of the parking garage and into the road. But instead of just saying, hey, can I? You get know, in? Get in, please. But you she's know. entitled. She's like like an entitled little Upper East Side bitch pushing her way in with her fancy car. So I push in in front of her. She gets behind me, puts her bright lights on, and starts laying on the horn. Okay, she's got her brights on. So I've got a light. So I've got this bitch behind me making noise with the lights. So I turn left. <laughs> she comes around me, Carrie Karavis and Jeff Norris, and cuts me off in front of me. To make a point and show, and see was, when she would have stuck her brights on and beeped, I would have yeah. thrown the car into park and I would have got out of the car and went, "What? You know what, Carrie? What? I was so motherfucker. What? I was so close to getting out of the car. So it was so perfect because she slams in front of me and the light turns red and now she's stuck with me behind her. So I flip on my brights, I lay on the horn, and I'm one You really inch, showed her. I was one inch behind her. And then she's turning left with the blinker. I put my blinker on, even though I'm not turning left, Ooh. because I want to scare her like I'm crazy. You had she your is. opportunity. You put the washer fluid on, too? That would get me. <laughs> oh, I got your window wet. <laughs> anyway, uh, let's talk about your physique, Jeff Norris. My physique? You are a very built human being. What is going on with you? This it's is like you have no neck. Neck. I have a neck. It's the shirt. It, no, it's just like muscle. He's very. No. You're very square. I used to be a very good athlete. <laughs> yes, SpongeBob. This is just leftover from college <laughs> and athletic career. Oh shit! How what? often do you work out? You don't out? go to the gym. You go. No, I have a gym, gym in my garage. I mess around. All right, so you do a little bit. How, How often? Every day. Every day. Oh, no, maybe two, three times a week. That's a Th- lot. That's plenty. How long for you're the two? An hour. An yeah, hour? an hour. Look, he's something. acting like it's nothing. An hour, three times a week. Can you imagine, Karen? No. I can't even. It's not crazy. I vacuum and I'm ready to fucking. <laughs> <laughs> um, 
so wait a minute. I was going to say I douche, but then that's so nasty, and then I'm tired. But you okay. don't. So I know I really well, don't. You might I don't. If, you did, if you douche, you'd be married. <laughs> Wow. This has gotten really <laughs> mean and ugly in here. I'm I don't sorry. Know what I'm happened. mad. I'm mad. Can't wait to put this on my bio. <laughs> I'm mad from that story. Were you on that show about douching and hair dye? <laughs> that was me. Yes. Wait. Fucking Norris got an HBO special. How? Wait, I'm going back to your physique in one second. Adam, on the show that you did with Kevin Brennan, said, when I said, he, you said, why doesn't she get married? And Adam said, what I say? Maybe she wants to see what her options <laughs> yes. are. And then he goes, ha 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 ha. Like, I have no fucking options. No, I think you, you have plenty think of that options. Nobody wants to fuck me just because I'm in my 60s. Let me no, tell you something. I, a okay. lot of guys in this 70s. Let me tell first you of all, old guys want to fuck me. Okay, first of so all. don't even think that you could say that because you thought I wasn't listening. And I fucking <laughs> no, I knew, I knew you were. Now right. I know why they call the show Chick Chat because that's <laughs> all who you, fucking talk. Yeah. Would you fuck? On this show. All right, I'm sorry. No, no would we're going to go. Fuck Patty. Would I fuck Patty? I'm a married, married. man. Okay. Again, that, if you weren't. Is she, does she look hideous to you that you wouldn't no, fuck No, she's her? not hideous. She's I don't hot. believe that she's 60. Uh, thank she's you. She's not 60. I know older. she's not. Um, she's okay, 49. I, first of all, I said that because I knew you were listening, oh, and I, yeah. was taking the, I was taking the piss. I was <laughs> giving a jabbing at you. I would, I would do that here on this show. Right, and if you need and if you need me to for validation, I will make love to you all right, on this up. show. Now I'm going to get up and beat the make, sh- make sweet love to you. I'm going to get up and beat the, the shit out of you. Do you call <laughs> it making love, Jeff Norris, with your wife, or do you call so it let me ask you, When you guys woke up today and had your coffee, <laughs> and you thought about tonight's show with Jeff Norris Wait, driving in from Jersey, I which I left you. last night to fucking get here. <laughs> okay, I yeah, parked in Bayonne. Jesus Christ! He gets here at like six thirty. No, he got here earlier. Than All right, that. I have questions for you, Jeff Norris. Wait, I want to ask, answer the question. Which, which question? One? Do you call it making love, yeah. or do you call it I want to fuck my wife? I do. I do both. When you're with uh, when you're with when your, your wife, wife, do you call you it making it? love, or do you do you can I you do use both. other words? She doesn't care what you call it. She probably doesn't even want to fuck you anymore. No, are you, she's waiting for me now. You yeah. <laughs> You're such a I am liar. not. <laughs> Do you guys make out? Yes. With tongue? No, with my fucking toe. Yes. I would never. And I got to ask her. I don't you believe don't like you. See how these men come on the show and they bullshit. <laughs> I want to. I want to meet Mrs. Norris. Where, and maybe I'll she's ask her. is she watching? Let's we'll ask her. Uh, th- she can contact us a live. Uh, don't comments. even get involved, hon. Just Renee, don't. are you? Do you? <laughs> don't get involved. Renee, is it? Is it <laughs> making do you make out with your husband? This That's is, all I want to know. Our careers are over, hon. Because <laughs> fucking. How is that though? You and your wife both are comics. I mean, she's not. Oh, she's also. That's right. Do you know Whoa. that she's the vice president of? Am I allowed to say this? Yeah, the, yeah. Gen Wack or Gen Wall or Who? whatever. Gen Wack. Isn't that the name of the door company? No. What? Anderson. Oh, Anderson. You never heard of Anderson. Gen Anderson. Wack. Gen Wack is up against Anderson. That's one of the top doors. It is? She did her research. Uh, Isn't listen, she good, uh, this one? Gen Wack. Gen, <laughs> Gen Wack. We actually need doors, so we need all new doors. Anderson, Anderson windows yes. and doors. Renewal by Anderson. She's, now, she's the head over there? No, she's the head, runs the sales division. Oh, She's like the job. president, yeah. though, of the sales That's division. a big job. Yes. So how did she settle with a guy, a comic? You don't have a day job. That's how we met. You don't doing a sh- show. They were doing comedy together. We met doing a show. Mm-hmm. You're very funny, I got to say you. that. I appreciate it. You very went up funny. at the Westbury Music, because we did Westbury. Oh, that was fun with Darcy, yeah. That, we did that last year. Yes, it was Let great. Let me tell you something. You took the, the fucking house down. Well, I had to bring my A game for going up after you. I mean, it's hard following Carrie. Oh, who wants Carrie. to follow Carrie? It Carrie is, is seriously. It. It's very hard. She's a uh, killer. It's very hard to follow you, you know, and uh, th- that whole show was all incredible acts. I mean, I was, I was grateful I was even on it, because I was like, wow, you know. I never had that New York connection. I was always like, I was always doing comedy, but I always had a regular job too. I always worked with my dad. I was. Did always, you do radio a little bit? I did some radio back with Opie and Anthony on 1027 Days and traveled with Otto a lot. Were you you say you're the first guest for Opie and Anthony? Yes. Yeah, I was the first guest when they first came on air. They. Uh, you're friends with them. Which one are you friends with? Well, I, I admire them both. I haven't talked to them in, since oh. they've been off the air. Oh, so you them. didn't know them before you went on the show? No, no. I, I, They had a thing when they were in New York. They're like, oh, we want to see the most famous person that's listening to us. So I think I called up. As and you were like, the most famous? No, uh, I, ca- I called up as like joke. I called up as like Pesci. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh! So did, that's right. You're doing I was calling up as Pesci, and then the program director at that time, his name was Rick, really great guy, Rick Delgado, and they brought me in, and I was the first guest 
on and there. And then you ended up getting like, a regular spot. Well, I was a recurring <laughs> guest. I never had a regular spot. I wish I did. But uh, That would have been nice, right? They were, Opie and Anthony were very great, very nice to me and, and got my name out there a little bit. I hear they hate each other, though. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I haven't, unfortunately, I haven't seen any other of them. Uh, since. Did, did they hate each other back then or they no, seemed like I friendly? No, I mean, let's, they, they played it off well. I mean, everyone really? pretty much got along and... Uh, you know, I mean, all the guests and comics that were in there were great. I met so many yeah. really, really great you know, people. Oh, Adam Ferrara. Who? 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 Jim Norton. Uh, a, a lot of oh, guys. Oh, yeah, Adam Otto. was friends with, I think, the Opie one. Yeah, he was, no, he was good friends with Anthony. The, oh, he was friends with Anthony. Yeah. Got the right. Opie one. <laughs> but I was like, uh, back, oh, back then, sound like my grandmother. <laughs> the then, Opie. I was only doing comedy, like. A week? No, like maybe two, three years. That's I, a week. I, I was working at, as a longshoreman at an oil refinery. And what doing... is a longshoreman anyway? What is that? When the uh, barges and ships come in, you, you unload all the air jet fuel, you hook up all the hoses. Off is the... that like Marlon Brando on job. the waterfront? Was that the, his job, a longshoreman? Yeah, I guess similar. Did you see the movie? Yeah. Okay. I similar. <laughs> Too young. That's before my time. Oh, I have Okay, so wait relatives. a minute. But you do, okay, not just the working out, you do the karate. Am I correct? Judo. You're like Judo. Jeff Norris. <laughs> My Uncle Chuck. I am Jeff Norris. <laughs> I got where you're going with, though. <laughs> <laughs> it was good, though. Put a little more fucking dye in here. You'll be all right. Wait, I have a like Holy Chuck. fuck. Can Jeff I have Norris. Jeff Norris. here you can yeah. refer to. Yeah. Can, I show, can I show them this fucking... <laughs> yeah, these are my questions. This is the way... This is what I was going to ask you. When you guys wake up in the morning, all right, we, we have a show tonight. We have a guest. Grab the paper bag out of the fucking cabinet. And get, Those are my notes. I do it. Plus get a the, crayon out of the junk drawer. <laughs> and let's make an outline of our show. Those are my questions. I don't necessarily. And I don't see nothing about parking or fucking I, hair roots on that. I don't always go to the questions, but I like to have them. All right. It's just I don't case. know how you could see them on the brown paper yeah. with the brown pen. I, yeah, you know a, what the problem? a number two pencil. <laughs> the problem is I really can't read that unless <laughs> I would have put my reading glasses on, oh which is bad. You know, do you wear glasses? No. You don't have to wear them for reading? Mm -mm. See, a lot of people, some guys get lucky. What, that they don't need glasses? That they don't need glasses. And he's got his hair, too. He's got hair and well, yeah. eyesight. Is like, that a plug? No, it's just... Is this real? <laughs> no, I keep it short. We ask True everyone that. Short. I'm sorry. We no, have it's real. Keep it but then short. there's new plugs now. That no, really I don't, I'm no plugs. <laughs> just... You're a good-looking man. You're a good-looking guy. I don't no, know how old you are. I've, I've face took a couple shots. Okay, but... I look a lot old. How old do you think I am? How old do I look? I'm a lot older. I look a lot You're older. You're like 56, wow, 57. fucking <laughs> hey, really? Seriously? He's in his 40s. No, I'm not. Well, last year, I just turned... I was, I'm 49. I'll be 50. Okay, well then, yeah, because the way you said it, I thought you were going to be older, so I gave it a, I gave it a young, <laughs> well, no, I mean, you're you 70. Know, and you're... I was an athlete. I took a lot of shots to the face. I, What's the why? shot? What do you mean shots? Oh, judo shots? I've well, taken some face. shots. <laughs> well, I, yeah, the stop sign. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Officer, here. blow me. Uh, Go. No, I just, you know, I, I was a football player. I was a judo uh, guy, wrestler. I broke my nose many times, had teeth chipped. And... Wait, do you still do the judo? Your teeth are nice. Let's Thank see you. the teeth. Very nice. The caps. Yes. Yeah. I need the caps. I got the caps. She got them and she got, what about? Some are caps. Some are real. I still have this fake front one. I, I when gotta, are you going to get that fixed? I get, because he wanted 730 in the morning on Saturday. I couldn't do it. I was feeling nauseous <laughs> and sick. I was going to throw up. And then Monday, I, I was supposed to call him and I But forgot. you've had the fake tooth in for months. It's. You're not understanding. Every time I go, he puts a new one on because it doesn't match the. Don't thing. stand one. Oh, topic. that's Just... what happened to my daughter. Only he wouldn't redo <laughs> no, her don't, tooth. The don't motherfucker. Stand one topic. Oh, my yeah, guy's yeah, redoing yeah. it. He Bounce put around. the tooth in. It had a gray spot on my daughter's no, tooth. Now I would have five thousand dollars. Let's talk about the foam next. To the fucking light, <laughs> kind of light bulb you put. In. All right, Holy wait. We have more questions. Too. Oh, get the brown bag it's one out. Of my questions. Okay. What? So yeah. you did judo when? From what year to what year you did judo? You still do the judo? I started it at like age 10 10 and i did it religiously 10's till... not that old well young. who puts you in judo you, my, you... my kids are in judo oh yeah your daughter i forgot is my in dad judo. my father did actually he did judo he before saw you? that you were short and he's like this kid's gonna get his ass kicked. <laughs> and i was very thin i was a very thin kid and you were like thin? he's gonna get yeah, yeah he looks like a my scrawny family, little kid my whole family short. and then what happened you, wait, you remember me I at could age just eight? Tell. <laughs> you I look could just, just like your father his father i saw you met my dad at that fundraiser we did for bricktown hospital his father looks Exactly like him, only like wider. He's a little wider. Yeah, just he, it's almost like this. If you saw them, if you saw him really? walking in the door, you think it was him, and then you get up close, you go, "Wait a minute, is that him?" Or it's so close. He's, he rocks. He was the best man at my wedding. So you guys get um, along. But wait a minute, if you get yeah, along with your guy. father, oh wait, I'm getting back to well, no, we still, in a but second. we bang heads. I love him, but but I was gonna say, if your father and you're so close with your father, 
why are you a cop? Like, why are you funny? Usually your father and you don't get along for comics who, who are funny or their mother doesn't get along with it. What happened to you that you're a comic? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I turned, I mean, I was always the class clown and funny and joking around. My grandfather was a World War II vet, uh, Purple Heart recipient. Oh, wow. Is that what made you funny? Well, no, wait, I'm getting to it. <laughs> Would you fucking give her you. something to chew on he or something? He beat you. Uh, no, he was, uh, he, was a per he was like uh, a guy I really looked up to my whole life, my grandfather. And, Your uh, father's father. So instead my of going into father. the military, you took No, the thing was, my grandfather was also a comedian in the military. Uh, what do you mean a comedian? He, he was like he, he was he was like the barrack funny guy. Clown. He was the clown. He was barrack? like... Oh, the like the barracks. Yeah, 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 yeah. Patty, yeah. God, Jesus. <laughs> you want to Google barrack for Patty? Uh, <laughs> can... It might be written on the bag. So he has... But anyway, bag. his they biggest claim to fame was... Yes. He, when Bob Hope entertained the troops, my oh, grandfather my did 15 minutes. Get the fuck out with Bob Hope. And, yeah, and, and it was really cool. And my grandfather, I, like I said, I was always around him. And growing up, whenever he would come over, I would say, you know, how come everyone laughs when you're around? Like, how come you're always so funny? And my grandfather would say, how do you feel when you laugh? I go, it feels good when you laugh. And he's like, if you could make somebody else laugh, you feel even better. And I don't ah. know, I was always like, my dad was, not that my dad wasn't around, he was a shift worker. He was out with, on the oil barges. My dad was always away doing stuff. And you mean like away for weeks at a time? Yeah, mean? weeks, two weeks, three oh, weeks okay. sometimes, like a cruise mm -hmm. comic, you know? Oh, yeah, what, yeah. What, and he called it that he was on the barracks? Is that what he said? No, no, but my, my, my point is, is my grandfather was always there with us growing up as well when my father was away. So, so he, he was more like stepping we had a, into we had a very good We had a very good bond, and uh, he was always the funny guy. If, if we had bad news in the family, if someone was... The, my grandfather always made him laugh, and I always like, wow, that's like... You know, as a kid, you see that, it's like, wow, that's really, like, powerful what yeah. he could do. Then I, I was the class clown in Catholic school, got in trouble and shit. And, Catholic uh, school? Ugh. I had to do what my parents told me. What are you going to do? Uh, uh, then I was very athletic in high school and college. And then I had a... You played football in high school and college? Yeah. I, high school in Kenilworth, um, and then I played college ball at West Virginia. And then you, didn't you, did you get onto a pro team? No, I. I too, how, don't you have to be a height? What, isn't there a height? <laughs> what Carrie, is you in height? <laughs> You're shorter than I am. You fucking. <laughs> I'm supposed to be. I'm a girl. Our football players. Yeah, what am I? Girl. Yeah, you ever hear of Danny Woodhead or any Who's of them Danny short Woodhead? guys? I don't know. How about that short basketball Joe Morris. Player? You remember to play? You, the, you remember Joe Morris from the, the Giants? What's that he was five six. Sandra Bullock, the other side. <laughs> What the fuck tall? What is a height requirement to get this? This fuck. How tall you gotta be room. to get in here? This is a small room. I'm f how sh what's short for you for a guy? I'm five seven. That's short. <laughs> All right. But how, how, how tall are you, Adam? She's asking you. I was a running back. I wasn't. What do you think? I was a <laughs> lineman. Okay. When someone you know when says, the quarterback gives the ball to somebody and he yeah, runs with it, yeah, that was okay. me. But you're still gonna get tackled by yeah, a six I got foot tackled. five. That's why I have three hundred pins in my leg. Monster. Yes. So my right. That's what. That's what I'm saying. To become pro, isn't there like you know. I know. You just have to be good. Doesn't matter how tall uh, you are. If he was fast enough, I was you fast. Know? You guys were not the game. I'm not saying you weren't fast. fast. I'm just saying. Well, if were you you're pro? Fast. Did you make the pro team? No, I All had. Right, so I, then you weren't that I fast. Had a, I had a triple compound <laughs> fracture <laughs> in my sophomore <laughs> year. Uh, Gary, my... Gary, <laughs> Gary oh, you need buster. to back off our guest, <laughs> or he's leaving. <laughs> I'm just ah. saying. She might, she might walk the guest. <laughs> Oh. This, and that's coming from a woman who admits, admits she gets winded fucking vacuuming. I'm fat. You're going to tell me. Uh, <laughs> when I was 20, I would get winded. I'll still outrun you. I never got winded in, tw in my 20s. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening here? <laughs> my foot got caught under the turf on a kick return. For those of you that know football, because he's fucking too. What's a turf? What's well, a kick return? <laughs> Adam. Oh, my God. But wait, the grass lifts, you're saying? The grass it's lifts? It's artificial turf. It's like a carpet. Yeah. It's seen. Well, I, holy shit. How did your foot get you, under let it? Let me talk should... to the brown bear. Do, do, do you remember the Brady Bunch backyard? <laughs> yeah, that yeah. Like that. Perfect. Yes. Uh, Just like that. Yes. Wait. I, I, am I supposed to know turf? I hate fucking football. I hate football, too. Well, you asked me I a know question. I know kicking. Give me an answer. What was it say? Kicking? What would you call it? A kick return. A kick teams. return. Okay. So you kicked it. Your foot got stuck under, and it oh. broke your ankles. Is that what happened? I, I, I had a bad accident. We'll leave it at that. Because it's too wait, hard to explain. Hold on. You, you broke in? both your ankles? No. Did you kick with both your feet? My, I wasn't kicking. I was... <laughs> Forget. He said Next a kick question. return. He said a <laughs> yeah. kick return. I'm going to show you a fucking kick in a minute. <laughs> you fucking know. I can't what? take it funny. Wait a minute. You got a pin what? in your ankle? I have I have quite a, I have quite. four pins on my left ankle and two metal rods. Can I just say, my 
uh, foot guy wanted he gave me a what's the thing where you have the plantar fasciitis <laughs> he gave me play gave me a plantar fasciitis surgery and then he goes listen i'm gonna put a pin in your ankle i go i don't want a pin in my ankle he goes i'm gonna put a pin in your ankle because it's gonna make it easier for you to walk after your plantar fasciitis i go no i don't think so and he push 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 then like three months later he's talking to me he goes oh yeah he's talking about it. i gotta go on the road because i'm the representative for the people who sell the pins that you put in your foot and i'm thinking nobody wants to put a fucking pin in my foot he's a representative for the people who sell the pins kickback. in your foot he gets a kickback no pin, pin in my intended foot. no Ex- pin intended. <laughs> no intended so let me ask you a question okay, you have not, how many pin- was that doctor your doctor no <laughs> Maybe that's why you put six pins in your foot. You got to kick back I off actually, every pin. I actually have to have an uh, ankle replacement. Does it hurt? Now? Replacement? Yeah. Does it hurt when you walk? Uh, it, if once in a while, when if I do a lot bad. on it, it's it's bad. There's no cartilage on bone on bone. It's, so, okay. So now you t- were. But anyway, <laughs> what is her face? anyway, she looks, she looks like she's I'll finish me. the story. Go ahead. Because this will be all, all fucking night. They're gonna tow my no, car. There are guys that listen. I know there are. You have two listeners. <laughs> wait, wait. Let's see who's listening. Is anyone... Magaga. Magaga. No, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go. go, ahead, go. I'll just see. No, if there's but after the accident, it, it devastated me, and and uh, <laughs> a couple of buddies took me to a, a Rascals comedy club, and uh, it felt good to laugh and forget about stuff. And they then they had open mic night, and I started doing open mic night. Were your and... friends pushing you to do it? Yeah, some of the guys were. Because most of your friends will say, "Yeah, so funny." Yeah, get up there, do it. Because you are funny. You are funny. Off. I, I mean, I'm all right. Off. But you, you didn't. Off. You didn't write jokes before you went up there. That doesn't make sense to me. No, you just I really, it when I, you go up there. I really didn't because this is going back. But you now. did impressions. Yes, this is back. It was Otto and George. Oh my God, so funny! Uh, Love they them. they were going to be. I know, I miss them so much. Were they, was he your friend before no, you did comedy, no, or you I, met him? After? I met him that night. I met him. My my buddies took me out, and I met him. And uh, but he was late for the show. That's what it was. It was at <laughs> Rascals and in, in, uh, Ocean. Oh, Ocean. Ocean. He was late for the show. So, How late? Uh, like half hour. <laughs> 35 minutes and he, he was it was him and chip so they were both late so there was no that was the show oh my god <coughs> there, was so there was no, no comic show. there was no comic so they put you on no they were saying uh, the, i forget who it was the only one who was there was the host and i, I can't remember for life me who it was but he went up there and he said all right we're gonna give like five people to come up here and tell some <laughs> jokes uh, if I you, remember when they used to do shit because they like wanted that. to they, keep the audience there they didn't want everyone to get up and leave because yeah, otto was hot shit drinks. otto was you know yeah. a legend if you got Otto, you had to know that either he was going to be late or he was going to leave early. Like, if you didn't like the crowd, he'd walk. He like, killed that night. But I remember watching him, and then I talked to him after the show, and he was really nice. And then He I was went, nice to you? He was be- very nice yeah. to me. Then I went back the next day, and uh, they were like, oh, you were the guy last night. You were fun. I did something like if Joe Pesci was president or something stupid. You know? But So you had had that bit, like, in your back pocket? No, I just, they were like, oh, go up there. And I was like, what am I going to do? And, and I was with some of the guys from, like, Judo and school. So they're like, do that thing you do with Pesci. Right. right, right they're right. like, it was one of them. I'm like, what am I going to do? Like, uh, if Pe- uh, Pesci was president or something. I think Can you do a little first, Pesci like, for us What right the now? fuck? You want me to do impressions now? <laughs> <laughs> trying to fucking talk to you. Put your big fucking glowy lips away. <laughs> Carabas for your blowing stop signs. You fucking... <laughs> In this day and age of fucking Jew broad, <laughs> telling me I can't fucking run. <laughs> oh, my God, that's great. Wait, which one's the Jew? Well, selfie planet. What's the line from I'm Goodfellas? Catholic. Oh, oh I, Patty, you didn't know the movie. I don't know the You don't movie. know Goodfellas? I, I've seen Goodfellas You're a 18 clown. times. No. Like funny oh yeah, how. the Jew brought his what's her name? Yeah. Oh, I like love funny how clown. Yeah, when they're oh, all sitting around. That's the best. Oh, that's the best. That scene. What's really funny is the fucking <laughs> bank job away in Sea Caucus. I'm in the middle of the fucking woods. I'm just laying there, I'm resting. Guy comes over. He says, "What are you doing?" I said, "I'm resting." I know I'm resting. He says, "Here, you're resting. Why don't you go to the beach or the park?" I said, "I'm fucking resting." <laughs> he says, "You're gonna tell me something today, tough guy." I said, I'll tell you something. Go fuck your mother. <laughs> Ping, pow. <laughs> you saw my head, Hendry. My fucking head was out there. I finally come to again. He goes, what are you going to tell me now, tough guy? He says, dogs, what are you still doing here? I thought I told you to go fuck your mother. <laughs> I wish I was big just once. <laughs> and, you know, the Leota comes in with the funny lines. That's I love great. it. Come I on. love funny it. How? Okay, oh, so wait a minute. So you go on stage, but now you, you... Tell me about what, where's Japan come into all this? Something happened in Japan. You're in Japan before you start doing comedy. So you're a judo guy before comedy. Right. Okay. And why'd you go to Japan? You were in the Olympics or no, something? No, there was a couple of, uh, we had a traveling team. 
Okay. Uh, out of Cranford, and like really great school, a lot of great guys. I went out there. You went up against the Japanese who invented the sport? Yeah. All right. And, uh, Did you win? No. Oh, that shit. No. I, I exactly. That good? You're well, like a big gunny, though. They're like little skinny guys. No, they, they, they yeah, have technique. Way of weight, too. <laughs> I mean, what do you think? They're all... Oh, yeah, I guess sumo wrestlers. wrestlers. That's yeah. true. They're I mean, big. All right. I'm thinking... That's what like, I look like You guys got to get out of this b- fucking box more. <laughs> I'm thinking of the Japanese guys from the Japanese restaurant. They're all skinny, like, long string beans, you know? No, but I went out there with, a, with the team, and, I, you know, I, I did okay. It was for training and light competition, and I was involved with another girl at the time, and when I came home, I caught her with another dude. Wait a minute. You actually caught her in the act? Caught her in bed with somebody. You yeah. walked bed? in the Who's room? bed? My bed, my apartment. Your bed in your apartment. She's she in She thought your I was going to be away another so three So she didn't want to take him to her apartment because her apartment was a shithole. She, she lived with me. <laughs> Sorry, do you let anyone finish wait, the story? Wait a minute. Oh, fuck. Wait a minute. She lived with you? Can, you know what I always think? Like, guys are assholes, honestly. Like, I always think guys always are kind of, can be assholes to women. But I never think about when the women are the assholes. I think for men, it's more of a blow so to speak, because you're not expecting the girl to cheat. You expect a man to cheat. You don't expect a girl to cheat on you, do you? I mean... Uh, I didn't. I mean... How long were you with her? <clears throat> two and a half years. Had you ever cheated on her, though? No. Come on. No, she's He's not really? a cheater. You could tell a cheater. He doesn't look like a cheater to yeah. me. Yeah. Like know Adam's a cheater. I know what it's like. <laughs> but, what? But anyway, it, it really bummed me out. And then I had... I was still dealing with the... What'd you do to the guy? Jotty, karate chop I got in some trouble, yeah. You beat the Wait, shit you out of him. You had to go to the police. I, I don't have the best record. Wait a minute. You so had wait. to get arrested? One more restraining order, I go to Disney. That's wait a minute, wait a so minute. So he, arrest, <laughs> you got arrested for beating the shit out of him. Yeah, I got arrested right in Did, my apartment. You got arrested for beating him up, and then my, she, she took a restraining order out against you? Yeah, it's still active. They it's all, still active? Jersey is the only state that in, the, in the country active. that you keep it active. And it doesn't matter. What does she do? How long ago was this? This was in 93? Come on. 94? And she still has it on yet? It's permanent. You, I, she can't turn it off? Well, I have to go say, hey, I haven't seen you in 30 <laughs> fucking years. You want to go to court again? Does she have kids? I have no idea. I have no idea where, she whore! Is, where she's been. What she, no, but it, like, it actually, I guess it was a good thing. How bad know? did you beat up the guy? It was, it was bad. Was it like breaking things? Breaking Patty, things? he just got back from Japan from beating the shit out of the Japanese. <laughs> now you tell me this guy was a professional. His hands are probably registered <laughs> weapons. Oh, hey, what am I? How, ba- how bad did you beat him up? I, I, did you go to the hospital? I lost, my, I lost my cool, and I, I beat him up pretty good, and I got Listen, some trouble for it. Listen, he was in your fucking house. I know. It was bad what I did, but I mean what he did. What the whole thing was bad. Oh, you my God. I can't get an answer out of him. I can't, you, was there blood? What yes, was it? There was, there was blood. blood? All right. You want the full description? Yes, I want. You see the corner? This thing. Oh my god. I grabbed him <gasps> and I pulled him towards me. And when oh I, my god. When I threw him, picture his forehead. Here, <gasps> you he, put a hole in his head. It split him wide open. Oh my god. Did he go like. It looked like. You could have killed him. Did like, he go mentally after like that? It was he was now cold. You could have killed him. I thought I did. Oh, you did? You my landlady did. called the cops. They came in. Oh they my god. fucking tackled me. Was, then was he. The cops tackled you? Yeah, it was bad. Oh, I was he like, naked? Yes, they were he both was naked. He was naked? You beat him up naked. See, it's hard to fight when your balls are swinging. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> no, you're like... Uh, you, you want to I wasn't naked, though. Right, but you're, you're, your balls and your junk is hanging, and now wow. you're like... Got a, I, you're like, what do I cover first, my balls or my fucking face? I bet that guy never banged another, another girl boy. who was it's involved with somebody ago. else. Yeah, but he might have not known she had a girlfriend. A That's boyfriend. True. That's true. You don't know. What, what, what pictures of you around the apartment? Well, yeah, but I think it was going. I don't know. It was going on for a while. Oh, it was going uh, on for a while. I think I would. I, and he deserved I would leave. It. I would leave for like practice or go help my father with a job or do something because we had a yeah. maintenance business growing up, and I was always with my dad. I was always with my dad's side. You know, that's why I never really had the opportunity. I never got in the clicky shit with the New York comics. I yeah. mean, I respect every comic. I don't give a shit if you're MC, headliner, your pictures on a wall out here. I respect everybody that takes the stage. But I never got into that clicky click shit because uh, my gigs were like random. It would be like rascals. It would be Jersey stuff. Right, right. I, One I, nighters in New I wanted Jersey. To be, I wanted my dad needed me. I wanted to be with my father. Right, you I wanted to work with my father. Yeah, yeah. You know, right. and then like now, now I mean. Um, I'm doing all right. I mean, but you know. No, you do. Wait, I have one last question about the guy's head yeah. that went into the corner. Oh, oh. Still in the corner. <laughs> Wait a minute. Patty can't get past. Right, I, I'm like imagining this. Okay, so afterwards. It was bad. We went to court. Did his head get sewn up, or what yes, happened he had to him stitches after? Stitches across his forehead. He did. Yeah. Was he a good-looking guy? No, he must have ruined his look. I don't feel sorry for him because he knew he was banging another guy's girl. 
Yeah, I guess. And you but, gotta you gotta find out who the guy is too. You can't be fucking the judo guy's girlfriend. That's right. You got in his house. That's or, right. You or got a know. guy who's got an arsenal of guns. No, exactly. I don't have any guns. No guns. I'm no, just but saying, I mean, like, if you yeah, you should do gun, your homework. You gotta do your say. fucking homework. I, do your homework. I can't own a gun. I'm not when, allowed. When, I'm not allowed to own a gun. Oh my god, that's so funny. You can't own a gun. But you know, did you have to take anger management classes? No, I didn't have to do that. If you see a guy. In his bedroom, Renee has was a my safe. anger management. <laughs> has a safe of guns. You don't fuck that guy's wife. Well, of course not. Wait, I have a you question. You don't fuck any guy's wife. The can you? Me? I know, but they do. That's the problem. Now, are you? Can you kill with your bare hands? What, what <laughs> are you? What do you? Get, put me on a hit? <laughs> I, I got this club owner. I need you to go after. <laughs> it is I'm just asking for a friend. <laughs> Unless no, I'm but no, you could, I'm right? No, You're that strong. I was, did you I choke was, someone to death? I was a pretty good, you know, f- you com- could, competitor. Okay. My, but this guy, so I got my solid. ass. I got so my solid. ass. I got my ass kicked too. Joe Rogan kicked the shit. Oh, out I was. Of me. Go- you want to know what's so weird? That's one of my questions. Uh, 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 I was. There's three people that I wanted to ask. Love that guy. Could you beat up Joe Rogan? Hell no. No. Wait a second. I got a Joe and Rogan then I have, story. Wait, wait. Before Joe Rogan, then go back to your story. Could you beat up Kevin James? Um, Cause he's a super black belt like you. Too. Yeah, he was a good wrestler, I, and I think I don't know what art he did. I would like to. I would wrestle with him. You would. I would wrestle. Okay, with Okay, and then can you beat up? But I wouldn't. Kevin I, I, Brennan. But I love <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Brennan. I love Kevin. Brennan. I, I, Will I, you I'm beat just, up? I got it because he wait, said me. I, I actually never him. met him. I can beat up Kevin <laughs> Brennan. Get the fuck out. I never <laughs> met Kevin Brennan, but I think he's a star. I love oh, him. Oh, you should meet him. Star- you on should on do a show. He would have you on the show. I think he's a star. Especially knowing you almost killed someone. That'll he'll really want. You on the I'll show. book you. Yeah. Oh, many, You're booked. You're, You're booked. booked. <laughs> many years You're booked ago. Next Thursday or many whatever. Years it is. Ago. Hey, you want to hear my Joe Rogan story? Yes, I want to hear Joe Rogan. Did he date you? No. Okay. Because judo's no kick. Judo is throws, chokes, arm bars, and submissions. Wait a minute. Throws, chokes? Like yeah. you choke a neck, you mean? Oh, so you don't breathe no more. Yeah. yeah. What, what to, do, they do they you die? You can yeah, kill yeah, someone. Yeah, yeah. Well, but what fucking kind of a sport is that? In judo, you're only allowed to hold the chokehold for three seconds. And then you anything hold. after that, you're, that, you're uh, disqualified. Who was the guy who did... After the guy dies. Yeah, I know. I was going to say. Who's the guy who did the chokehold on TV? Who was it? Oh, uh... Gracie's? No, the, who's that fucking annoying comic that I hate, and he's married to a porn star? And he was really big in the 80s, and he was a real dick to me. What's his name? Uh-huh. He used to... He was, the, he was the house MC at Catch a Rising Star. Richard Belzer. Didn't somebody do Richard? Be- he, Richard Belzer was being a dick on a TV show, and the guy came over, Jer- Lawler or whatever, and he did a choke oh, and no, knocked him was, out. That was uh, what's that? They made that movie. No, uh, Man not on the it, Moon. But it, it was, was also Belzer. Oh, he did really? It to, somebody did it to Belzer also. Oh, Unless I'm making this whole story up in my head. You might be. Okay, got right. it. Joe Rogan's a good athlete. He's a good martial artist. I can't believe man. he's stronger okay, than you. Okay, so here's what happened okay. with Joe Rogan. I don't know what kind of athlete he is or what he is. I've known Joe Rogan forever. I started with Joe Rogan. Oh, what, in Long I, Island? No, well, he was always around. Joe Rogan was a, a very funny kid, a little dirty, a lot dirty. Yeah. And he would go up and level a room. Yes. Level it. Nobody was following him. Right. You know, Ray Romano would go up after him and be like, oh, my oh, two no. kids. He's like, no, this guy just talks about... <laughs> <laughs> this guy's just talking about... Hey, what's kids. going on? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, Rogan was a hard act to follow. And he was a good-looking kid, but very, very cocky. Girls loved him. Very cocky and obnoxious. Yes. So, um... He was on the Man Show, too, right? Fear Factor, right? Was uh, he was on Fear Factor. But didn't he go both on of as a guest both of those. on Man Factor? No, man. him and uh, Doug Stanhope took Would over. Oh, they, they took, took over, over for, for Jimmy oh, Kimmel and Adam okay. Carolla. All right, got it. Thanks, Adam. You're welcome. Oh, that's right. I'm so... Adam's are fact I'm at shooting. <laughs> I'm, I'm at Grandpa's in Staten Island. Yes. It's myself, Frank D'Amico, and Joe Rogan. Okay. I'm the MC. Joe Rogan's featuring, and Frank, Frank D'Amico, D'Amico is killing it every night. Very funny. He was the only guy that could probably follow Rogan. Yep, very so funny. He's six foot five and five hundred fifty pounds. Really, Frank D'Amico? Oh God! So I'm with my boyfriend at the time. This guy was like one of those bikers, crazy. Oh, what's like, his name? Fred. Or Fred something? Yeah. never spoke. Your boyfriend. Yeah. Well, he, he was, never spoke because he never talked. Like he would watch everybody. He he was very quiet. He didn't get involved. <laughs> So one night, um, one night, every night, because you did Tuesday through Sunday or whatever it was, Thursday through Sunday, 
So every night, Rogan would go up and blast me to the crowd, but the crowd loved me. What do you mean, blast you? Explain. Oh, this, give, keep it going for that loud map. Whatever he made, did Julia Roberts reject? Like, he always insulted me after that's, I got I don't up. like when comics do that. That's not, that's not professional. No. But it isn't. That's shitty. Okay. Go ahead. So then he, the, it was Friday night, and he goes, I know what you're all thinking. She needs to get uh, uh, fucked. Like this. Did you run face. a stop sign that night? <laughs> yeah, well. So I, as I'm walking Swing down, a... as I'm walking, I go, did he just fucking fist? Yeah, do that? exactly. So I go up to my boyfriend. I go, when he gets off the motherfucking stage, I go, <laughs> rip his fucking throat out of his body. I like that you sick your boyfriend yeah. on a guy who can kill people with his parents. Well, I don't know. Maybe he wasn't training then. Maybe he wasn't. Because um, how, ba- how, how far back are you going? You going like early 90s? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if, I don't know how. Hold on. Maybe he was in school. <laughs> okay, He might have been a fucking, whatever. Go ahead, good to. I get on stage. Great Pesci. And all of a sudden, he gets <laughs> off stage. Fucking and I, Carrie Pesci. <laughs> I'm I doing fuck, a, I'm telling you about Rogan. <laughs> you fucking. <laughs> so now I'm doing my dice clay. I'm ready to do my dice clay. So I go, I'll keep it going for Joe Rogan, whatever. They clap, whatever. As he walks off, and I'm like talking to the crowd, I'm watching. So like I'm, I'm trying to do my act, but I'm watching because I want him to get his ass kicked. And all of a sudden, I see Rogan <laughs> thrown up on a wall. He had him up on the wall. <laughs> no shit. Dangling. And my boyfriend goes to him, you ever say one fucking thing about her again, I'll fucking stab you. I'll kill you. I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> so Rogan must have shit himself. Or but wait, him. wait, your boy, boy, boyfriend was what? You said he was 6'5", 300 pounds? No, that was Frank D'Amico. I bet he was the biker. He was very muscular. He was muscular, and he was... He scary. Had, he was covered in tattoos. He was he scary looking. He was looking. scary looking. Yeah. yeah. So, a biker. You know, uh, tattoos are just ink. You know that, right? I know that, but he wasn't afraid. See, this I'm guy... Okay. This guy. Was you can a, see crazy in people's no, eyes. No, this guy was crazy. Like, this guy would have... If I would have said to him, take the gun and blow his fucking head off, he would have done it and gone to jail for Gary, why would he do whatever you said? Really so how long did that relationship... that good, Carrie? Really the vagina was really? that tasty. <laughs> how long that... Delicioso. <laughs> How long that relationship last? Seven years. Wow. wow. I took care of him. He had Crohn's disease. I took care of him. Oh. You know, we had a relationship that was like we were friends. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, he really liked me. Well, I, what happened I went end? out with him when no one else would because he had Crohn's disease. And I was always oh. like, I'll take care of you. And I, he went from like 150 pounds to 220 pounds. Because with you the, fed him. I fed him right. I made sure he didn't eat anything with spice. You know, Crohn's disease yeah. is whatever. Yeah, yeah. That's nice. So the next night, we're upstairs in the green room, and Rogan comes in, and he sits at the end of the table. And he With goes, you and your boyfriend in the room? And Frank D'Amico. Because yeah. D'Amico was there, too, and he goes, Rogan, that was off. That was wrong, Rogan. <laughs> you're wrong. You're out, of, you're out of line, Rogan, or whatever. <laughs> and then he goes, I just want to say I apologize. He apologized. I swear to God. I swear to God. And he goes, uh, and, yeah, and then I go, it's fine. It's fine. See, I never did that shit, though, with comics. But he's... Now, if I didn't have a boyfriend, he's telling right. the crowd I need to get raped outside in the fucking parking lot. Is he retarded? Yeah. See, that's what girls go through, though. That's what people don't understand. I would but be... The, but the crowd yeah, but you never, me. you never dressed how we on stage? Yes, I did. Oh, yeah, well, she would have her stomach the, showing and everything. The crowd... With pigtails. ...loved me. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. <laughs> fucking handlebars. But he, he was trying to insult me, but the crowd... I just... Yeah. They loved me. They didn't it go like, with it. They didn't, you know, half the times they didn't go with Sometimes they would laugh, but they loved me. So you're insulting someone that they liked. Yeah, yeah then, it was stupid. Then it you was can lose stupid. the audience. But you know what it is? He probably did that to all comics after he filed it. But when you make fun of a guy and go, oh, look at that guy. He's a blah, blah, blah. But the problem is when a guy says that about a girl, it looks fucking bad. Well, one time at Governor's, he goes to me, uh... He said something to me. I go, all right, Rogan, whatever. Go go get some Rogaine, you fucking bald prick, because you always wore the baseball hat. He goes, oh, yeah. yeah, okay, Caravis, you're a fucking dog. He said and, that to yeah, you? Yeah, and I go, really, Rogan? That's the best you come back on me? <laughs> that I'm a dog? That's good. And I wasn't a dog. No, you're very hot, Carrie Caravis. Uh, you're a dog, Caravis. I was like, okay, Rogan. Okay. Wait a minute. Was so maybe the same we're not going to get on his podcast, Patty. Yeah, we probably will, but we should yeah, ask, and then you can them. talk about it. I defended you, Joe. I said I couldn't beat you up. So. Wait, so you're good friends with him? Wait, how no, do you... I never met the man. Oh, oh, oh. But I you... just know of him through uh, comedy, his name, 
And as an MMA fan, you know, he was one of the first guys. Well, that... let me say, I'm going to bet my money on you for him. I, I, I think too. that I want, I think you could be. If it was up. just a judo match, yes. But if it was Kickboxing? like kicking and all he that. You got a fucking stuff. pin in your knee. Right. They oh. got to give you two points for that. <laughs> But I, why would I want to fight? Any, I don't want to fight anybody. We want you to fight. Girls like when guys fight. <laughs> Very violent ladies. <laughs> we want you to beat the shit out of John yeah. Yeah. Too much testosterone. Holy I shit. always thought I had too much testosterone in my body. I just always was like a guy. I thought uh, That would explain like the mustache. <laughs> I did have a mustache. I had a mustache. And I had a boyfriend who go, said, to, did I tell you this story? I had a boyfriend who wanted Probably. me to get rid of my mustache. And he said... Hello. And he started talking in a British accent. I go, why are you talking in a British accent? This is right after. <laughs> he goes, well, I thought that if you speak in a British accent, sometimes it's easier to say things that you don't want to say. And I go, what do you mean? And he goes, maybe you could do something about your mustache. <laughs> and I was like, what the fuck? And I go, oh, oh, I have a mustache? I go, I bleach it. He goes, well... The bleaching isn't exactly working. You have to turn the sound okay. down, okay? You have to turn the sound oh, I got down because on. Oh, cuz we can hear Good. the sound. Right. So anyway, he's she telling me she had a mustache. but he told me I needed to get then he said I said well I bleach it he goes well you should get electro you should get electrolysis. Like he's fucking talking to me in and a British accent. I said go get a penis pump, prick. Well, I will tell you and this I'm not exaggerating. The smallest penis I was ever with. All right. Uh, <laughs> are we gonna talk about comedy at all? Or are we gonna keep? Yes, this? let's that go is back. comedy. Go ahead. That's the best comedy ever. Talking about a man's little dick. All right, I don't he have wants enough. To, uh, he wants me to ask another question. Oh, no, I don't want to talk about dicks dick? and fucking hair dye. <laughs> Holy shit! Did you know the and, name of this podcast when you came on? Yeah. Okay, fucking, let's talk about Boardwalk Empire. You were on. This is about you, Boardwalk I, Empire. What did you do on Boardwalk Empire? I had uh, sheriff. I. Had, Two parts. I was, Two parts well, was it? You on, played a cop. Well, a sheriff. Yeah, because yeah. you look like a cop. But I was an inmate on Oz. I oh, played yeah, good right. Oh, inmate. what did you do on Oz? That was very like. Do you have tattoos? Gay yeah. sex on Oz. Like guys would. Yeah, that's how I got the part. <laughs> um, no. Talk about blowing a stop. No, right? I was. <laughs> I was. I was one of Schillinger's Aryans. I was. I don't one know of, it's Schillinger. He was. You know, J.K. Simmons. We are farmers. Bum, that guy who does all those commercials. Oh yeah, that fucking old guy. He was the main Aryan in the show Oz. He played a bad guy. Yeah, he's badass. You know J.K. Who? Simmons is. Really? Yeah, you know? yeah. Who's the you guy? You seen the movie Whiplash? No. What do you do? Like, <laughs> you just sit in this box and dye your hair? Let me tell you, you something. You never saw Goodfellas. I have never... ch- I've seen Goodfellas 187,000 oh, okay. times, and it was actually on last night. I raised two children. Do you have children? I have th- four. I have three dogs and a cat. That's okay, but than a children kid. is harder because you got to drive them to fucking games. Okay, <laughs> I I have children. I've always had a day job. I sell antiques. I sell on eBay. I chase my tail. Okay, but anyway, so um. But you know the other guy on Oz? Did you meet him? I always thought he was cute. The, who's the guy? Chris? Uh, who's the guy with the black hair? It was kind of cute. Patty never knows anybody. I never know name. anybody's name. Do you know who I'm talking about? He's one of the leads. Black hair, kind of cute. That narrows yeah. it down. Do you know what I mean? This is the guy, Muscular. Chris Maloney. Yeah, that's it, Chris from Maloney. From Law and Order. I met him once. He's very nice cute. guy. Very nice. He liked you? No, I mean, you know, I was like, you know, I thought he was cute. He was like, like and actually, my who friend was like, your hair? Yeah, my, my, she goes, my friend really wants to meet you, and I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna meet Chris Maloney. And then he bent down, and he was like, very big and handsome. And he took it in his hand. And he took my hand, and he, and he put both, he put the hand on top of the hand, <laughs> and he was like, <laughs> right in the eyes, and he goes, it's so great to meet you with those teeth and that. He was very handsome. It was before I knew Kevin, of course. But very, very sexy and handsome. You know what? That's the same way he greeted me on the set. <laughs> <laughs> at the don't, craft uh, services. Don't no. Is he a dick he yes. had in your hand? That's, you that's not me. sausage. You ruined this my isn't craft services. Why would you ruin it? So wait a minute. Did you have to learn lines? I had, I had very little line. I had like under fives. Did you forget fi- them though? I had Don't fight you scenes. Them? Are you sag after? Yes. Wait yeah. a minute, you had fights? So you had to do judo on people? I did fights. I, the guy Alvarez, I, my big scene, I fought Alvarez in the weight room. Which one's Alvarez? He was one of the Puerto the Rican Spanish prisoners. Guy? Yeah. Wait a minute, you fought him in the weight room? That was the scene in Oz. But did they have somebody teach it you was the like choreography? A, yes. Yeah, choreographed scene. Oh my God. Were you nervous? Yeah, I was nervous. 
I get nervous with everything still. Just because you want it to come out. I'm you nervous really with get, everything, Don't too. you care about any, like, whether you're at a Elks Lodge in Jersey or... Always. I'm always nervous. Before every that show. That surprises me you're always nervous because you don't seem He's like a funny guy. I'm surprised you're nervous, though, because you don't well, seem like you're nervous. Like, like I... I <clears throat> I want it to work, you know. Like you, you just—I try to see it before it happens, kind of thing. Which might yeah, because you, you know, you you know all the options that could happen. These are all the things that could happen: bad, 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 bad. And then there's the good option. Uh, yeah, you know I, try what I, mean? to, like, I try to throw. You know, if you got something new, you want to try to throw in a set. But it's so hard to do new stuff now because if this part of the room is insensitive, the other part is. Like now, the world's so freaking crazy. They're fucking annoying, but it's, I don't give a shit. Ridiculous. I say whatever I want. So Eddie Smith says you're awesome. This guy in college was. The funniest, always the funniest. He was one of my college teammates, Eddie Buddy. Does he go? What a teammate in uh, judo? West Virginia football. Mm. Oh, football! West Virginia, that's like guy was they... a great. Eddie was great. Was he from I'm... West Virginia? Yeah. Did he have teeth? Yeah. Okay, because in West Virginia, teeth. this is actually a fact that the least amount of teeth in people's heads are in West Virginia. Did you know that? No, I did not oh, know. Okay, that. that's an actual. <laughs> that's a weird fact that always stuck with me because. I don't know why. Why? Because there's no dentist. There. <laughs> no, Eddie was a was a great football player and a, a great uh, state trooper for West Virginia. Oh, a state trooper. Oh, yeah, he turned into yeah. be a cop. And oh. you see what he does when people blow stuff. He's a signs. shit kicker. Ooh. <laughs> shit kicker. Listen, Ke uh, Ke Brian Plato says Kevin James wrestled in high school with pro wrestler Mick F uh, Foley. Oh, Who's that? Mick Foley. Who's Mick Foley? I, I knew know. Kevin was a good, Kevin was a very good athlete. He was a good rugby player too, I think. Really? Like football too. He's another guy who's square like you. I, I, I met like you. I met him twice. I opened for Kevin, Kevin James. Yeah. Was I, he nice to you? This is way way. That like, was when before was, he was famous. No, he was still doing King. He was King of Queens. Was still. Oh. Um, he was very nice to me. Very kind. Really? Yeah. I wish I'd seen him again. And then. Uh, well, Carrie was on his show. Yeah, I know you were. You did a very good job, she by was the way. Very good. Hulk Hogan choked. Uh, Hulk Hogan choked Belzer. Thank you. Who said that? Brian uh, Plato. Your Thank boyfriend. you, Brian Plato, because I I knew it was somebody like that. Hulk Hogan, and then he tried to sue Hulk Hogan. Oh, because Belzer said did. wrestling was fake or something. Was that? He what was just about? being a dick to him. You know what it was? Belzer had his own talk show for a while, and he brought him out, and he was just being a complete dick to him. Like, yeah. he's going, you know how he can be smarmy? Like, but that's his persona. But he was being smarmy, smarmy, dicky, dicky, and the guy just went over to him, and he did this quick thing. <laughs> and Belzer just goes, mm, like, just like a sock, out? out cold. And he said, I, I could have gotten so brain what damage. Happened? Well, he did get brain damage. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I guess they went to, I don't know, commercial, commercial, black. I don't know what the hell happened. Maybe hmm. Brian Plato knows. But I, I, but I do remember that. And I remember seeing. That's I, the best. What? When somebody gets when their somebody ass kicked gets when, their they, ass when they're kicked, being yeah. a dick. Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. So I got to slow it down then because you're going to kick my ass. No, no. I never. Not at all. What are you talking about? I never hit a woman. Um. You've yeah. never hit a woman? We're at an hour. <laughs> We're at an hour already. I know. I love this guy. Oh, my God. Okay, wait a minute. Well, so, so do you have Ten any... minutes late. Talk about hair dye and no, blowing people. No, we're not people. ten minutes late. Patty's ten minutes late. Can't and, find parking. And Patty I drove has, the to furthest. Pee, has to pee every time. I was five minutes late, but then I had to pee. Right, so next that question. made me seven minutes late. <laughs> okay. Um, what was Japan like, actually? I kind of want to know that. Beautiful. I was in Okinawa. And what would you do? So what, were you just doing your studies or did you now you didn't go out with any Japanese girls there because you had the girlfriend at home? What no. studies? He went there to, to, in competition. Like a, yeah, it was a, like a I don't mean studies. He doesn't follow them. I, I do. I understand what you're saying. Where were you? You went to the bathroom all of a sudden? That Adam, what happened to Adam? Don't yeah. worry about Adam. Yeah. Don't change the subject. Wow, well, you are ADD. I have ADD. <laughs> you think I have ADD? <laughs> Holy she shit. She has wicked ADD. You guys. We both have ADD. I love you both. That's you why cannot we, stay on a topic. That's why we digress. To uh, save your uh, fucking uh, lives. Uh, Carrie uh, Cabarrus. I'm say, talking uh, about hair. I'm say, talking about blowing a cop. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's what that's, that's she, what all of America is. What blowing cops? That's cop? why you can't write. You can't write. You can't do more than a three-minute live because nobody's watching. Nobody's watching no more. That's because they know. Mean, people are watching. They're, they're watching. watching. They got they're all watching. their hair dipped, eyes, and they're done. They, they say that in commercials, it has to. The visual has to change every six seconds. Oh, and yeah? then I started watching commercials, and that is kind of what they do. They change the frame, or something pops into it, or somebody moves. That helps the ADD. Because, yeah, because so people, we have to have moving pictures you, in here for what, you or some shit. That's what we need for us. Well, let me just say this. Go ahead. Changing the subject with my ADD, Tom. 
Pagaro, do you know senior, him? says Jeff Norris is the most charitable guy you ever. Are. You are. You are. Oh, Tell about special. your dogs and your and the the, rescues and, and then the helping the the troops. Uh, well, I got involved with the New Jersey State Police, and they have a program, Troopers Assistant Troops, which I looked at it like every comic would. Hey, it's a gig, you know, we're going to go do a gig. And then they talk to you before, and you're performing outside in the pavilion, and, and they walk you out, and then you look. and How many people? You see, but it, it, it was, I think it was like 35 maybe veterans the first time. They pay you? You did it all Well, free. they paid, but <laughs> when I first seen these guys, I mean... Legs missing half. Oh, shit. Like, like I'd never seen that. I'm, uh. I'm, when I tell you that they were severely wounded that they just got home, I mean, like, on, on a medical leave from a VA hospital because they're medically okay to go outside now. Oh, shit. Like, gauze on the face and this. And the one guy, the one staff wow. sergeant, there was a table of, of veterans that were sitting over there that were yeah. severe post-traumatic stress disorder. So the staff sergeant had a really, like, weird like we talk like this he goes whatever you do don't talk to the table because they might not take it the right way and they're very severely oh. injured so i said okay so i'm going how and they're all looking at me and i'm like this is going to be but nightmare. you have to talk to them don't you so i went out there and i looked around i said hello i thanked them all for their service i said i can't tell you how much i admire you guys yeah yeah uh and then i looked at the table that he told me not to talk to and i go i gotta ask all you guys a question i see the guy doing this i go you got to listen to that guy's voice every fucking morning? <laughs> <laughs> I started imitating this. So oh, the guys great. all started laughing. Oh, that's great. That's so it, it broke the ice. And then I was like doing my set. And that was seven years ago. And then every year, like, the, you know, I just just from the state police, because I admire them. I, like, I, I have a big thing with cops. I just, I, I just love them. I mean, just because of what they go through, especially now. Like, it's just bullshit, this world, the way people are. It's fucking sickening. But anyone who's a cop or a veteran... Don't get Patty started. She's a liberal. I am a little liberal, but... All right. Well, listen... But listen, I Kevin's get on father... A co- my fiancé's oh, father's Jesus a cop. Christ. My, Here we go. No, no. It's, it was a cop. My my fiancé's sister's a cop. I come from cops. I know there's good fan in everybody, cops. but the Jeff Norris's perspective from working with them and... They're good and they're, the New Jersey State... They're not the guys that are planting the for guns the, I'll on I'll just speak for the New Jersey State Police because I know them personally. I think they're they're incredible men and women. They're uh, great athletes. They have hearts of gold. What they do for veterans is just inspired me. And they had a lady there from Florida named Sherry Duvall who runs Canines for Warriors. And what Canines for Warriors is they they're get all, service dogs. Service dogs, but each yeah. dog is trained for the veteran specific need. If they're blind, if they're deaf, if they're post traumatic stress. Yeah. Well. When I seen this show, when we first did the show and his troopers wanted, to, I, I couldn't take the money because I felt like it was taken away from what they needed. Right. But it just, it just formed a bond, a friendship, and then it led into Canines for Warriors, and now I try to do... So some, you do it for free every year? Yeah. But no matter where I am, like even on the ships, I'll say, hey, do we have any veterans in, in, in the room? And then I'll, I'll, I'll give them... You know, praise. So if there's a veteran in the room, you're doing it for free. So because I have a gig right no, now. No, no, but no, no, no but says, like, but on the on the ships, I'll end every show just saying I, I'll give mention to Canines for Warriors. Yeah. And then I'll get a call from Canines for Warriors like, were you just in Alaska or something? Yeah, they know. <laughs> yeah, we got a check for like two grand or this grand. Now, there's a company uh, called One Eight Hundred Car Cash out of Jersey, and they just sponsored this big show we're doing. November Car Cash 10th. is for uh, the Jewish kids, the Hasidic Jews. Do, cars for kids, I'm That's sorry. That's cars for kids, yeah. yeah. No, so I know my story. Right. Jump in any time. Right. Jump in any time you want. I'll tell you about your the shows. Sit-ups, the sit-ups take your car, they you sell the parts, Dude, and then they send their kids to freaking camp. Fucking Adam has, a, Adam has a drinking problem after you. Go. I'm high as a kite right now. So, guys, so... Now, He's no, but the canines the, the, for warriors, yes. if you want to donate, that's the best cause, yeah, actually. How do you do it? I, it's caninesforwarriors.org. Uh, you can click on donate through, through them. You can do it right through my website. Uh, Which is Jeff Norris, yeah, www. Right. Do you know, Jeff in Norris. case you didn't know it was fucking. <laughs> does anyone say www <laughs> anywhere? Worldwide Wrestling. Two what F's and Jeff and two R's yeah. and Norris. Yeah. Okay, One just so they know. <laughs> and one C and cunt. Oh my God. <laughs> Unless there's two cunts sitting together. Oh, it's my two God. C's. All right, go. Mom, I can't stand out. that word, Patty. Uh, nice. Oh, you don't like Delicious. the word? 
Carrie uses it all the goddamn time. Oh my god. I right. love that word. I know. Why you can't that? get hung up on words in life. There are more important things in this life than worrying about the word cunt. Come on. All right. Well, let's fucking get out of this topic again. <laughs> For, you know what I want to ask? This put is the a mouth weird, to two years. This you is should a have, weird topic. You should have puppets in your lap. This is the way a weird. You used to come out with a, a, a shield, a, a, a gladiator, <laughs> a, like from the, but in your ass. That sounds like a gladiator. Not that like, did you ever wear like a... Uh, uh, Gay sex. No, he's gonna come out. Did you ever have props? <laughs> yes, I used to be a prop. I used to do props. Okay, so you used with to my put impressions. A, you should put on this like. It was an Arnold chest. Yes, that's what it was. I used to imitate a Schwarzenegger thing. Oh, that's so funny. I had the Archie Bunker hat. I remember you when you did Archie Bunker. And the Archie Bunker. I don't remember Archie Bunker. You remember Archie Bunker? Oh, that was my favorite Do it. I loved him. Did you have your favorite show? Yeah, he was British, I think. Or he was uh, British? No, Irish. 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 No, Wait, I'll make, fact check that. Well, I'll make well he had Dalibet. different voices in the heat of the night. I'm the Dalibet right now. All right, five hours. You're, you're, not so giving me, you're not you giving don't me even have enough money to pay him. <laughs> why, do you, why do you have guests? I'm, I'm never going to see that fucking money. I don't money. know. I don't know. <laughs> now I know why Steve Marshall did not stop talking in here. Because if you stop talking, you can't get a fucking word in. <laughs> Holy shit. I know because I'll win the money. What you crime did you commit that this is your penance to be here every day? She'll borrow the hundred from somebody from you and then pay me. Right. Wait, I have a Listen. question. This is a weird question. You might be offended, but I, I have to know. When you're all wrestling around and stuff, don't like guys get hard ons and stuff? What? <laughs> you know, we were doing so like, good. When I see. We were really doing when good. I like, that's like we were talking day. about canines and veterans, and now you're talking about. Wait, where are your I girls' want minds? You're saying you're I, a fundraising machine. That's yeah, he good. is a fundraising machine. But when he always like, pays tribute to the vets. Ask Jeff about the boys from BTHS. Oh, Brick Township High School. Bullshit High School. Okay. Yeah. Wait, no. Can you answer my question They're first. They're great though? guys. I worked with them when I first when we first moved down to Jersey Shore. Uh, I was I had a part time job and I worked for Brick Township High School. It was a, What'd you do for them? It was a custodian, and oh, I, yeah. I work with all these guys. You had a lot of jobs, and you're only forty. Forty nine, honey. <laughs> Patty wants to know if you got what? a heart on. Not you. Right now, but no. Were you ever with a guy? <laughs> and what the hell show is this? And you're wrestling. <laughs> no. And you're wrestling. What are we? And the guys like. What movies do you girls you watch? Rubs up on you. You're when rubbing. Rubs up you're on sweating, you. and you're you're exerting pressure, and by mistake. <laughs> is this a fantasy you have at night? <laughs> <The> you, <laughs> is this the what you dated and married a gay guy? Somebody else's you know dick that, right? get hard. Maybe the other guy's dick got hard. You know that, It's not your fault. Patty married a gay guy. I don't know. I have a great ass. Maybe I got a guy's. <laughs> because they, I got do, a... they like pin each other. How does that not be sexual in your mind? Well, if if the balls are in your face, that's when I get turned on. If I get, no, <laughs> you know. Don't want any no, no, take no. a bite out of those. Never had a hard on when you were wrestling. I not you, I, the other guy. I haven't. I didn't ever ask. I didn't but double you take down. Feel it? Hey, hard. Like when you throw him on the ground, you see something, you'd be like, what now the what fuck if you're that? wrestling Rogan, and Rogan gets a full blown <laughs> erection? What <laughs> would you do? There's no benefits in fucking comedy, is there? You guys need a mental evaluation. You, t- you want to call we, this show? You, we do, should we call holy this? Holy shit. <laughs> fucking the in- insane. Smile, he it? does. Great teeth. Yeah, good, I got to get my teeth. teeth. Good I got to get, get good, good white teeth like you two you have. You do. And Steve Patreon, Marshall. Patreon, motherfuckers. Stay- <laughs> Patreon, motherfuckers. That's true. Wait, did I have any more questions? Yeah, should flip your bag over. Because that was just no more genitalia. That was a question face. that was off the top Sorry. of my head, though. That, that was, was why? That but why? How is that even t- a question? Every time I watch wrestlers, I think I think it. But you know why? I will tell you. You want to know why? No, I really don't. Next question. Okay, about guys in Turkey and they actually put their hands down. I each said that. Hands. Brian Plato said. You look for uh, Carol O'Connor being interviewed on a talk show, and you'll hear his real accent. It's an Irish accent. When, when he was really? on, really? When he did, you owe me hundred bucks. I didn't bet. I didn't pinky bet. Well, he was known. His two things he was known for what? was, of course, All in the Family, and then he did that cop show in Getting the Heat, heat of the Night. <laughs> You know, I never heat liked of Heat night. of the Night. I never but that was Carol O'Connor's kind of real voice in that. He no, went, he was using a southern accent in that, Heat of the Night. He played a he southern wasn't, cop. He wasn't Archie no, Bunker in he that. Was, 
I'm telling you, I had an Irish accent. Like, hey, yeah, Mac- magically Malachi delicious. Chums. Malachi Chums. I can't do I can't. Oh, That's how he did it? Both of us are trying to do you Irish do, accents. You, you're an impressionist. <laughs> magically delicious. Let's oh, hear as, it. As Archie Bunker, no, if he was Irish, Brogue. Irish. Oh, he just gets me a beer, would you? <laughs> yeah, you yeah, sound yeah, like yeah, that. You're good. Go. You should be that doing a lot good. of voiceover. Do you, st- do you still agent. do voices in your act? Yeah. I do voice in my... My best thing I ever had, I was the voice for the Kellogg's Frosted Mini Wheats. I was the Frosted Mini Wheats. Oh, that's great. Oh, let's hear the Let Mini Wheats voice. Question. We want to hear it the was the Frosted voice. Pesci. I'm sweet and delicious. Oh, it, oh it's Pesci. Let me ask it's you a question. It's a Frosted Pesci. Can I ask you a question? You, you're asking me Does three. Does your wife <laughs> want you to... Well, you know, you're having sex or making love like Patty wants to hear. Um, Patty? Oh. <laughs> Does she ask you to do some other guy's voice? No, <laughs> I'm just saying, because I would. Gary, like, what would you like? Honey, can you do Yeah, that's can what would turn do... her on, Archie Bunker. <laughs> oh, jeez, dear, Ben's always <laughs> talk dirty to me there, all right? <laughs> Take all your clothes off and suck my dick there, all right? <laughs> it ain't going to happen that way there. All of turning lights off, I'm going to have a reach around. <laughs> oh. It's not going to happen. <laughs> That's that would, fucking that good. That would be good. You know no, what? but that's... he's good. You ever hear impressionists and you kind of laugh because he sucks so bad, but you're like, oh, yeah, that's good. Yeah, you're like good. right he's... on the money. You know what else? Do Arnold. Arnold. Do he's Arnold also first. an entertainer. He's not just a no, joke guy. Listen. He's an entertainer. I'm a storyteller on stage. Yes, There's yes. a couple of impressionists. I tell stories. Rob Mephilotti. No, I um, mean, not <laughs> what's his name? Not the, Rob <laughs> Don't even. McNally. Rob is not. He's excellent. He's good. Yeah, he is. Rob is not. He's excellent. He can't go off script, though. He, listen. he like he does a script. There really? are few, I was I didn't wasn't going to say negative. I said Rob. There's a few that are good. He's Rob very Mem- good. Very I good. I keep calling him Manfilati. That's John Manfilati. That's John Manfilati. Rob Magnotti is good. But then there's a few that he are does. So Paulie Walnuts bad. is my favorite of Rob Magnotti. They're so he, he used to do our Senior Hall, which was really funny. So do Arnold. Oh, everyone does Arnold. All right. Arnold. Well, what's That's a hard one? Well, yeah, know. do a hard one. What's a what's a weird what's one? A, you can do? you do a woman? Edith Bunker. Yeah, Edith Bunker is. I, I want but, you, but that's like I want you. That only works on the cruise ships, you know. <laughs> <laughs> ship. oh, you know what? They, you want to hear trivia? Yeah. <clears throat> they used to pack her nose with. Um, Get out of here. Yeah, they used to. Pack I never heard this. James Holy shit! Yes, they used to pack her nose before every show with cotton. Does so she, could she talk like yeah. That? Really? That's mm-hmm. what did it? Did yeah. you ever hear her talk? When I, she... I never been there before, so I wouldn't know which way to put. <laughs> How old she? I ain't never had cotton in my nose. <laughs> she and in real life, she sort of talked like this. It was Re- very yeah, weird. Huh? Like she had like no sense of humor and was like very. Mm, I hated it. I love like, that show. Oh, I love that, that show was too. The best. My you father can never get was, away with that today oh. with these people. My father that's was Archie so, Bunker. That's why everybody's so pissed off and uptight. Because nobody laughs anymore. Nobody fucking jokes around. You can't. Nobody busts off. Bought the call yourself that, fat. But that was the best back then, you know? Uh, that show, I was watching that show, a repeat of it somewhere recently. And it's I hysterical. thought it could never, ever be made today. It could never, never be could made the today. Neither could the Jeffersons. The yeah, Jeffersons hey, couldn't hey, either. Yeah, hey, you eat it to the house down here. Lionel's here, Archie. Lionel's there. Hold on to him. Don't let him get away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How about when he kissed him well, on the lips? He used to call them the zebras. What did he call? Was that Jefferson? Oh, Jefferson. He, he used to call him a zebra. He a couple whatever. different. Zebra. But you know why? It, because here's the thing. Like with Archie Bunker, my father was Archie Bunker. My father would say all those kind of things that he said. And it, to me, it was just like, you know, like when you're going into the, you know, I have to take the, the, the t- train up to the Bronx. You know, he was just like, he would warn you about every stereo, every yeah. stereotyped um, uh, nationality. Like you, everybody knew the, that guy. Like my father was that guy, but everybody knew a guy like that. Their uncle, their yeah, but he didn't know just do. He wasn't just a racist on one. He hated everybody. He's like those Japs. Oh yeah, remember he yeah, used yeah. to. He used to blast. Well, the thing he did about the Statue of Liberty. Let me tell you something about the uh, Liberty there, meathead, huh? <laughs> with the lady standing in the harbor with a torch held high. Give me your tired, your poor, your deadbeat. Your Spanish PRs, your fags from England. <laughs> I mean, he used to do all yeah, that. Yeah. And they'd give him their own private sections. And if you'd go in there, they'd bust your head. That's what makes America great, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great yeah, fucking show. Was. It was show. It was such a great show. But if you do that to... for anybody under 40, they're like, who's he doing? Yeah, that's and not then, right. And then Meathead so. and his daughter were liberals. Oh. And they were like, you know, going so to protest. And he was like, what's the matter with you, Meathead? It's so ridiculous. <laughs> No Just I don't do any me. political shit in the act. I don't do anything political. Fucking, people are so stupid. It's but you know like, what? Because you're going to piss off half the crowd. It's ridiculous. You, you can't. Oh, come on. you got to lighten up, folks. You're all going to drop dead soon. Uh, who, what right. else did they write here? Somebody else wrote. <laughs> what? I'm afraid to ask. I know. 
I'm not saying his Irish, uh, his accent was Irish. I don't know what it was. So exactly, I don't know what it was, but his IMBD says he was born in Brooklyn, but he could have grew up in Ireland, you jerk. Who are you right. calling a jerk? I'm I'm just, Brian, I like Brian Plato's. I my, love Plato, my but he, be, he my likes best you better. Friend. <laughs> uh, George Jefferson called Lionel's parents the zebras. Yes, that's right, because they were white and black. Right. All right. Loved well, it. loved it. Loved it. Great show. Do All right. we have anything? Do we I have any other show. questions? Let me just see. Any if, questions? From any Mr. other Norris. questions from the paper Flip your bag? bag over. The paper bag. Let's no genitalia questions. No, nothing with questions about penises. sex with my wife. Who else do you do impressions of? You do Schwarzenegger. I mean, that's. Did him? Did walk in a little Who, bit? Oh, do walk in! I love him. I think you know. I don't like walk in. I'll tell you why. Before you do it, because I think <laughs> right, he was yeah. involved in the killing of uh, Natalie, Natalie Wood. Wood. Yeah, and I like that. Him I want... and that husband got, were getting it on. They were on the threesome. Oh my then god! Then they started fucking each other. And then they're like, we can't let her leak out that we blew each other. Throw her overboard. Next. Okay, Get out of that here. could have been it. But the other, I just that's listened. not gonna happen. I just, I can't listened. see that. I just listened wow. to you weren't to there. the, to the Natalie Wood it, podcast. There's a defend podcast. Yourself. Defend yourself, Mr. Walken. About Natalie Wood. Yes. Mr. Walken, were you there and did you throw were her you into the getting, water? Were you getting it up the ass when you threw Ow, her over? No, you... never have I had a dick <laughs> in my ass. It's smart. Your eyes water. It's crazy, really, for a dick in your ass if you're a man. It's smart. <laughs> oh, I would never. Yeah. Because I heard I don't know. that guy. Who I don't even he? like chewing that gum that squirts, let alone. <laughs> <laughs> wow, bubble gum, whatever the hell. Oh, it was he called. does it good. What? Yeah. Walking. Jay Moore is the best walking. Can you person. do? Um, can you do Jack Nicholson? I yeah. used to. Long time ago. You don't do it anymore. He's not, not in really. movies, and that's the problem. Because well, he's fucked they up. They come now. and go. I mean, these guys, these stone stars. Don't like, I mean, I'll, I'll do. Well, it's the time to ha- hang up your hat, Patty. He's a hundred. What are you trying to say to me? I'm hanging up my like, hat. You look at De Niro. He's doing any stupid piece of shit movie. Can he's I just like, say? Hang he up hung your himself hat. You know, anyway. Wait a minute. He hung himself Wait, anyway. No, guys. He's fucking. I ass. love him I, in Silver Linings. All right. Why are you yelling at me? I didn't fucking talk about Silver Linings. I love him in Silver Linings. I love him in Silver Linings. All of a sudden, you carry. Headset. She doesn't have the headset on, so she That's doesn't right, know how loud. Both got a little peshy in you. So wait, so yeah, he hung himself. I, I disagree, but I'm I a don't. liberal. That's I want to punch him in the face. I want to punch him in the face. I, him in the face. <laughs> I think he was acting. That was wait, ridiculous. Just, 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 just stay. stay. Like just stay. Like stay even, even, million even, dollar the, even the comics that go on Facebook and fucking do their little. I mean, I, I understand if it's part of your tweet, if it's part of your fucking act or your stick or what you're known for in stage. It's not but to see these people fucking fight on Facebook. It's ridiculous. Oh, fuck you. You voted for him. Don't oh, you see? There's a reason why they called her White House. Like all these Don't stupid... you see what they want? I Who's they? Wait a minute. They, they? your stupid fantasy no. people. Your Antifa fucking wackos. Oh, my God. All the two people up, the, two all right wingers. The people here. up top, the one percent is want us to fight. But Don't seriously, you get it? All those, like, no, just, you just, know who wants us to fight? I believe. Oh, boy. <laughs> I believe Trump wants us to oh, fight. Oh, shut up, oh. Patty. Trump Divide and Trump, conquer. Get lost. Trump, Who's who divided the... more than Obama? Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> get the fuck out of here. You get, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out. They all do the this same is why, shit. This is why Carrie and I can never talk politics Patty, on the show. They all do the same they shit. They don't all do the same shit. Oh, they shit. do. You think they will do the same shit? All I was getting at there. <laughs> Go ahead. So the two of you's got all wacko retardo <laughs> on me there. Little girl in there. Acting all nuts wacko there, huh? <laughs> what I'm saying is... Go ahead, finish. That uh, entertainers just fucking entertain. Entertain, that's it. Nobody wants to hear Your who you want to punch in the face. Put your little fucking Me Too kitty cat hat on. All that... Listen, I... I'm just uh, saying. Don't start her on that. Uh-oh. I'm saying, I, wait, the celebrities, <laughs> just do what you're known for. Sing your little song, act your little part, tell your little joke, make people fucking laugh and forget about shit. If you're an entertainer, you're supposed to entertain. Not fucking throw logs on either side Look, of the Look, here's fire. what I think. That's I think my if opinion. You, it, like you say, because they're the voice of the people, right? Who's it, the voice of the people? The, the actors are the voice of the people who can't have a voice, right? Th- that's they have a platform is the point. Okay, so here's what I wanted to say. Do it with taste and class. 
Don't do it. Like us, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't do it. I don't could care less who's president. Really could care less. It makes no fucking difference to me. Uh-oh. That's not right to say. Okay, Patty. You got to vote. I know I'm resting. Oh, we got to roll up. We got to get wrap it up. Okay. Okay, but anyway, my point is they're close class and taste, right? There's no show happening. Give oh, I thought I had a show tonight. Oh. I keep I keep waiting for you guys to oh, realize shit, there's, there's no, no show, show happening Fuck, and the lights are up. And you guys <laughs> They're like... turning the lights up. Anyways. Off. And we're talking about Trump politics. Patty's starting yeah. up. Patty's get... starting up. I, Go I, ahead, Mr. Okay. Norris. Where are you going to be Go this let, weekend? Wrap it up so it's nice at the end instead of us oh, fighting. Nice. <laughs> Gotta rewind. How far can we rewind? Wait, is there a good voice you could do that's silly that has nothing to do with politics? Well, I'm not doing politics anyway. I, I, what do I got? I have uh, this Friday. I'm yeah, out here. in Long Island. Uh, I'm doing a show for the Laughter Saves Lives Foundation with John LaRocchia. LaRocchia. Oh, yeah, yeah. LaRocchia, who I loved. A great guy. Um, he is my, a good guy. Maureen Langan is on the show with me. Um, John. I forget who else is on it. Uh, Sunday, su- Saturday, I'm doing a show with Gemini, Johnny Lombardi. I love him. I love him, too. I was supposed yes. to come by and do something for I him. I love him. Great he's guy. He's the best. Yep. He's like, I can't. I think he's the most. Can you do an impression of him? Oh, my God. Do it. What are you doing? Do- you want to do a show? <laughs> Listen, I got my birds. I'm going to, oh, it'll be great, Carrie. Oh, my God, I'll do the sound. Did you know his bird died in his pants oh, one time? Awesome. Before what do you mean he died in his pants? He his used bird to keep the his... bird in the pants, yeah, and died. then one night before the show, it died, and he was crying backstage. You remember we did that fundraiser for yeah, Bricktown? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Brick Hospital, me, you, and him. Yeah, but And he killed. I want he him kills. on the show. I, I want him, him on this show. But wait a minute. The love bird Johnny. died in his pants. It, we'll, t- we'll get him on the show, and he'll tell us the story. Yes. Okay, sounds good. He's the best. All right, so you're going to be there. He's the Best if you ever do a show of any importance, like I always look at a show, it doesn't matter who who's MC, who's featured, who's closing, it's a team. I look at everything as a team effort. Right. When John Lee Lombardi So the checks come. Gemini is the best opener for any show, hands down how he gets the crowd. He's going. hilarious. He's amazing. No, he's hilarious. He goes, I do magic and comedy. Yeah. He goes, if it's if it's not funny, it's the magic part. <laughs> <laughs> He's so funny, though. I love it. Very likely. Okay, so I'm going to be at the uh, in Bristol Comedy Works Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Uh, this and that's it. And Bristol Sunday Comedy I'll be at Works? Governor's. I don't even know what that is. Bristol Comedy Works. What is that? You won't take that gig. Remember, the money's not oh. good enough for you. <laughs> <Is that what laughs> it? Maybe I should rethink that. Yeah, well, I'm taking <laughs> it's it. Too fucking late. That's how broke I am. Uh, did this week? No, not this weekend. Next weekend. Uh, Schuler, what's Schuler's gig called again? City Steam? City Steam. You're in, oh. uh, in Friday, Hartford, in Hartford, you want me, you want me in Hartford, in 27th, Hartford, Connecticut. Okay. And November Carrie, 3rd. We're, pu- we're pushing our show on the 10th, November 10th, Ooh, Putnam County Golf Course. Okay, also, I Pum- want you to know that we have a Patreon. Uh, donate oh, yeah, a dollar. Donate whatever you want. We're back every <laughs> week. we got to pay this prick, Adam. So please, <laughs> send us your money. We have no money. I'm obviously, I'm, uh, I'm desperate. Okay, like us on Facebook, like, like us on, subscribe, give subscribe, us your feedback. Subscribe, yes. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. And you can, uh, what do you call Watch it when you give, a, um, you give Patreon, a, Patreon, um, Patty, no, Patreon. No, what do you call review? it? You give a, a not review. a reward, a review, thank you. Not a reward, a review. It's like, <laughs> it's like charades with Patty. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I've had a listen, lot of- all I'm going to tell you is this. Both of you ladies, <laughs> get used to a fucking pad at Wars, <laughs> all right? <laughs> get used to pad at Seven white. <laughs> yeah, get used to this shit. Because <laughs> you're both wackos. All Did right. you know that Evita Perone's husband, I just saw this today, speaking of wackies, they drilled through her skull when she had cancer and gave her a um, lobotomy. Lobotomy, thank you. <laughs> I wasn't going to remember the word. <laughs> Raise gave her your a lobotomy hand, chief. Without her permission. The husband thought she was acting up a little too that's much, a evidently. Nest. Okay, good. Right, Maybe anyway. that's what we should do for you. Wait, so and November 3rd, please come to the Westbury Music Fair. We're doing, that's I'm doing a great, it again. That's a great show. Tom Carter's on yes. this year. That's, that's powerhouse. Tom America, Carter, very good. America's it's a, it's Got a, Talent. It's a really good cause. It I really is. I was happy is. to be a part of that last year. Westbury Music yeah. Fair, November 3rd, 8 p.m. Call me. I'll get And not tickets. to compete with your November 10th, but that's the big annual Canines for Warriors. Oh, my God. Oh, that's it? the thing that we were going to well, talk yeah, about. Well, yeah, we were going to talk about it, but you got it back onto your penis end No, no, no. Go ahead. No, but you're wrestling with a heart on. <laughs> Wait, Come so, see me wrestle with a heart on November 10th. No, uh, where is it? Manasquan, New Jersey. Okay. Uh, What's the name of the place? The Algonquin Theater. 
So are there tickets available? Yeah, you can get tickets at the Algonquin uh, Theater uh, online. Dot com? Or, or on my w- Facebook. WWW. The poster's all, so, <laughs> the poster's <laughs> all over my Facebook. That, so that's, go to Jeff Norris 2 F's 2 R's. That show is the most bored of me every year because of the results it gets. Because Not Because it Chuck. gets veterans or dogs. Really? Yes. Yeah. That's, no, and they need them. Yeah. And the dogs are for the stress because they have... Everything, Patty. We went over stress. this. Well, yeah, whatever they need. We got to wrap it up. The dogs oh, yeah, yeah, help you, you know, if you're wrestling someone with a hard Jesus. on. Jesus, you tell her to wrap it up. She's got another 45 minutes. You had three shows that you told me about. What I, did the, I mentioned the first two already. You did the okay, rewind okay. the tape. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, sorry, everybody. Uh, we had so much we fun with so, you, Jeff. Thank you so much no, for coming good. on. Thank you, really. It. We We're love sorry you. sorry we gave you if terrible If you ever questions. get a chance to see Jeff Norris on any bill, go see him. Yes, He's please. Hilarious. Hilarious. It kills. I kills. won't wrestle you with a hard on. No, please. Don't. And Adam, oh, we're at the comic strip. We're at the comic strip, right? Eighty second and second. Please come here for shows every night. And this Adam, place is a Adam Hineker Adam is Hineker on our side. Mike is our he wrestles. He, he does wrestle with hard on. And I, yeah, we'll get ch- a chubby. But she has to be <laughs> if, if cute. We wrestle. Who's wrestling? Uh huh. She has to be Latin. Yeah, you girls need a little, <laughs> a little tension, I think. We need a tension? need a little loving or something. You I had a little loving just the other night, actually. Oh, oh God. Don't make me throw up. And Tugboat Manny's watching, <laughs> so I'm giving him a shout-out. She goes, don't make me throw up. Oh, and by the way, yeah. Tugboat Manny. That is the worst yes. segue. segue. Yeah. Well, one hand washes the other. All right. Got to go, everybody. Thank you for listening. You guys are the best. We love you. See you next Tuesday. See you, See you next Tuesday stands for cunt. Oh, again, with the words. Go to church. <laughs> 